previously on the Archip Octopod. I have something for you. We made it to the city! And now let's continue the Archon quest. Oh, did you see that? When those people entered the city, something on their heads lit up. Yeah, they're Bluetooth devices. One moment, please, you two. It appears this is your first time visiting Sumeru City. Uh... Oh, yeah, that's right. But how did you know that? Because you don't have Bluetooth in your ears. <laughs> because there's currently no information on either of you in the Akasha. But no need to worry, that won't prevent you from entering the city. In fact, that won't prevent you from entering the city. Ah, uh, isn't that lovely and it's free? Mm. Perhaps you two have heard of the Akasha before. Why does it look like he doesn't have eyes? So this is the thing that Tainari was telling us about. It sounds pretty amazing. No. Here are your Akasha terminals. Please handle them with care. Immediately breaks it. <laughs> It kind of looks like a leaf. What kind of leaves you looking at, Paimon? <laughs> to activate it, simply hold it in your hand and say the following phrase to yourself. <clears throat> May the Almighty bless us with their voice of wisdom. May the Mighty God bless May us with their voice of wisdom. May the Mighty God bless us with their voice of wisdom. Identification. All you do is concentrate on what we want to know, and bam, you get it. Oh, that'll come in real handy. Yeah, when we need to find people and deduce their information and their IP addresses. Exactly. And with that, thanks. Okay, now that we're in, we can check the Akasha about Lesser Lord Kusanari. Let Paimon try. It's not gonna work because only I can do it. I'm cooler. The same happened to me. Guess we can't know. Uh, 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 I'll try asking Akasha something else. Oh, smart idea. But what are you going to ask it? What color my underwear is? I'm gonna think Greater Lord Rukadavata. I'm going up here. I just pushed her over. Hello, are you a Maui? No. Great. You see, Tainari sent us here, and what? Tainari? I, 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 I. Uh, yeah, you're misunderstanding. We're not here to discuss academics. Here, this is a letter from Tainari. Ah. Ooh. So you two just have some questions for me? We want to meet with Lesser Lord Kusanali. Do you know a way we can do that? Sorry, the Akasha didn't respond to my query. What? All I know is that ever since Lesser Lord Kusanali returned to Sumeru, she's never left the Sanctuary of Sorostana or made a public appearance. Until now. Then what can we do? Nothing. You could certainly try asking around and see if anyone else has ideas. It's a miracle if my brain cells can publish one Tainar in just a single year, every three years. But paper's paper, it's like I can spit out three... Uh, okay. So what do we do now? Even if we want to talk to someone, we don't know anybody here. Well, that guy's just eavesdropping, listening in with his mustache. No, there's still one other person we know. Like who? That is Travis Osk. Hello, Traveler and Paimon. Hi, Catherine. Hmm? Catherine, we need your help with something. Understood. No, no, no. No guns. This is not Gundarvaville. Give me that. We want to meet with Lesser Lord Kusanali. Do you know a way we can do that? You two wish to meet with Sumeru's Archon. Understood. Please wait. Incense is burning. I'm going to get high again. <laughs> I apologize. Please do not worry. I may know of someone who can help you two. Who is it? I need them. Asfant, an advisor with the Core of Thirty. You can find him at the Core of Thirty's headquarters, the Citadel of Regzar. Thanks a bunch, Catherine. We'll head there right now. You're welcome. Uh, oh, oh, he's the bounty uh, dude. Uh, mm. 
just killed the shogun. Plane, a bleating dream. You're right. Welcome. The Adventurer's Guild told me to expect you to. It's nice to meet you, Asfan. We'd like to ask you about something. How do we get in contact with the Archon? <laughs> it's true that the Aramites' network is vast, but even I can't help you meet the Dendro Archon. Wait, seriously? That's it? Yes, now get off my lawn. If you ask me, I think most in Sumeru aren't interested in lesser lord Kusanali. Oh? Why is that? Just take the Academia, for example. They're the ones who truly rule Sumeru. Because of the Academia's influence, most citizens are more familiar with Greater Lord Rukadavada and hold her in greater esteem. Not to mention that Lesser Lord Kusanali never makes an appearance, and the Academia never announces anything about her. As far as the people of Sumeru are concerned, she's just a god that exists. And that's all. Well, thanks for the info, Asfan. <laughs> no. Hmm, I shall let that. Um, anyway, uh. <laughs> Asfan was right about most people's attitudes here. Isn't there at least one person in this entire city who cares about Lesser Lord Kusanali? No. Oh, uh, you two are interested in Lesser Lord Kusanali? We just happened to stop right in front of the only person who does care. Huh? Who are you? I'm Dunyar Zad, one of Lesser Lord Kusanali's faithful followers. Whoa, really? Then do you know how we can meet with her? I'm afraid I can't help you with that. But your conversation earlier did happen to remind me of a legend about the Dendro Archon. Can you tell us the legend? Sure. It goes like this. Long, long ago, there was a man who heard a prophecy. He predicted that a great calamity was about to befall him. At that time he heard, the man saw the Dendro Archon become such a lesson. With the wisdom of his ignorance, the man journeyed across deserts and green forests, and experienced tribulations of every kind. However, he still couldn't find any trace of the Dendro Archon. And that's the man came. He was a man who 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 was a man so long as you continue to think and ponder, we'll be wherever you go. What an amazing story that I did not understand. Yeah, Dunyarzad, since you worship Lesser Lord Kusanali, can you tell us anything else about her? Why are these dudes walking? What are they doing? Of course. So did you two know that, uh, the... Uh, I'm, I'm terribly sorry, but it seems something's come up now. Uh, let's chat another day. Are you afraid of the, the 30 core people? Hey, wait! Uh, what the heck just happened? I'm thinking of something you do with those people over there. She's wanted criminal. Think they're looking for her? Without a doubt. It's kind of obvious. We finally managed to find a lead about Lesser Lord Kusanali. We can't let them get in the way now. Yeah, let's go beat them up. Hey, have you two seen a brown haired girl wearing a purple top and a long blue dress? We're looking for her. I mean, uh, you kind of saw us just talking with her. Uh, did she have bandages wrapped around her wrists? Yes, that's her. Uh, she went that way. Quick, after her. Well, very easy to get rid of them. <laughs> They're so stupid. <laughs> that should keep them busy for a while. Let's hurry and find Dunyarzad. Oh, what a great hiding spot you got. There you are, Dunyarzad. We thought you might have been long gone by now. No, I'm just hiding. We threw those people looking for you off the trail. Uh-oh. Looks like there are some coming this way. Then what are we standing here for? Run! No, wait, I... Uh, my body isn't in the best shape. Uh, it's difficult for me to run. How about we find some place to hide? Okay, sounds good. There's a tavern on the other side of the port we can go to. We're we gonna ask why they want her, or are we just gonna head to the tavern? Yeah, follow me, lady who can't run. <laughs> As I jump on these rooftops and glide around effortlessly. Come on, follow my path. We made it. Oh, they shouldn't be able to find us now. Wait, stand down, dear. Oh, shit, look at her hand. It's got, she's got claws. She's got a claw at the back of my neck. My lady, who are these two? They're travelers that I met on the street. I see. 
In that case, you two should scram. There's nothing here for you. That's not true. This lady has answers that we want. Wait a sec. Who the heck are you? And why are you shooing us away? I'm Miss Dunyarzad's bodyguard, here to see that she returns home safe and sound. And if I refuse to go with you? Hey. That's what I thought. Dunyarzad already said she doesn't want to go back. Why are you still pushing her? You don't understand the situation. And we're about we're going to when you tell us. Even though I'm your bodyguard, your parents are my employers. I have to answer to them. How much? Three dollars. How much more do I have to pay you to become your employer? I'm aware of my limits and I know what I'm doing. Honestly, the only people being stubborn right now are my parents. Bruh, I'm sure you're going to die. <laughs> But there's someone else in this world I'm also grateful to. Lesser Lord Kusanali. This is my life and my last chance. So I want to do something meaningful. My lady, are you sure what you're doing now is meaningful? Yes. <sighs> Fine. I won't ask you to return home anymore. Thank you, dear. So, I'll let you hire me, my lady. This way, everyone wins. As for the pay... Let's say mm, half of what your father pays me. Okay, deal. Damn, you got off easy, lady. Yay! Looks like they've reached an understanding. <laughs> Dr. Dunyazard, are you alright? I, I just feel a little tired now that things have calmed down. Mm, you have the... Elmer, this is Elzar, Elzar. My lady, stop trying to look tough. I'm sorry for worrying you two. If you don't mind, I'd like for you to join us. Yes, I'll gladly invade. Sure. After you rest up, we want to hear more about Lesser Lord Kusanali. We're gonna have to wait for her to rest, and then she's gonna die, and then we'll never get the information, and then it's gonna be a whole or ordeal. <laughs> Well, if it isn't Dia, haven't seen you in nearly half a year. Damn, this guy's got a ponytail. <laughs> How about a menu over here? Ah, uh, no! Uh, but please bring these two the best food you have. They're my new friends, so I want to be a good host for them. Yeah, we just, we're already friends. Don't worry, but it will pay for our own sh**. Wait, we're paying for ourselves now? Aww. Yeah, I need to save on money. I got... Over nine million. I'm low. How about our coconut charcoal cakes? Uh, I'm assuming it's the brown thing that looks like uh, cheeks. They look kind of burnt and dry. Uh, Paimon will pass. Damn, Paimon insulting this man right to his face after ordering continue chatting with Daniel. We asked a lot of people when we first arrived. And almost nobody was interested in Lesser Lord Kusanali. So, what made you want to follow her? Has she saved me, like I said before? Even though I don't know how, I think I've actually seen her before. Huh? <laughs> really? Yes, it was when I was a child. At the time, my illness had kept me bedridden for the better part of a year. Then one night, I woke up alone in my room. I was terrified. My body was paralyzed. Even if I cried, there was no sound. Sounds like a case of sleep paralysis. It's not like sleep paralysis demon. At that moment, an ethereal voice spoke in my mind. Dunyarzad. Don't be scared. You don't have to cry. <gasps> Who are you? How do you know my name? I am everything about you. Really? Of course. Dunyarzad, is there anything you want? Uh, to be healthy? Uh, I'm not powerful enough to do that right now. Then, can you be my friend? After that, the voice said, I'm sorry, I do not want to do that. I'll be your friend. So you believe the voice you heard it was less than Lord Kusadali? Yes, for sure. I've been hoping for a chance to repay her kindness. In fact, I was running around today to help prepare the Subzerus festival for her. What's the Subzeros festival? It's Lesser Lord Kusanelli's birthday, which was the day that she was found by the sages. It's actually an old holiday that originally celebrated Greater Lord Rupert Abata's birthday. But because of the academia's influence, 
people have gradually lost interest in the festival. But recently, I made a friend there who also follows Lesser Lord Kusanali. I gave her my savings because I want her to throw a wonderful festival this year. Does this friend happen to be Nilu? Nilu! Sends flowers to the <laughs> yes, estate. let's meet her now! I've agreed with Nilu to meet up at the Grand Bazaar today and see how things are coming along. Dia, would you accompany me? Sure. Can we also come along? <laughs> we we want to follow people. No, but of course. Nilu, do it your zod. Dia, oh. And who are these two? I'm poor Random Rock. They're visitors who just arrived at Sumera City and are looking for information on Lesser Lord Kusanali. So you're followers from another land? Uh, no. We've already finished renovating the stage. Come on, I'll show you. The stage? I want to go on stage? After I steal some fruit. <laughs> wow! Not bad. <laughs> Last time I was here, the stairs were full of holes. We discovered that the tree above the stage had a huge chunk of bark ready to fall off. Why didn't anyone come to handle it? <laughs> oh, probably because it was the theater asking. No, oh, they the academia hates theater kids. They probably think it would be best if the theater closed down completely. Thank the Dendra Archon for doing your Zod. But the more she gave us, we hired someone to patch up the tree, and we also gave the stage a much needed makeover. Well, there's a lady dancing in the back. Damn, she's getting down. Nilu, what are you gonna be doing at the festival? Performing. She'll be dancing the dance of Subzeros. The most important performance at the Subzeros Festival. We still have to do our best to make sure that the birthday girl feels loved on her special day. I doubt that's gonna happen. <laughs> I also noticed that you went the extra mile and scattered Padisaras around the stage. They symbolize the goddess of flowers, after all. It's just a shame that all the real Padisaras went extinct after her death. Oh, so the ones we've been collecting in the wild aren't real ones. Yeah, the Greater Lord brought forth Padisaras in memory of the Goddess of Flowers. But she ultimately could never truly replicate that beautiful purple. I'd be thrilled if I had just two real Padisaras on the stage. I'm sure we'll find a couple somewhere. Interested in the Sabzerus Festival? Will you two be coming? Absolutely! All of Lesser Lord Kusanelli's followers will be there for her birthday. It'll be a good opportunity for you to learn more about her. Then I'll be there! In that case, we'll take a look around! Oh my god, there's so many people to talk to. I bet this year's festival will be one to remember. I'm sure it will, because I'm here. What's with your yellow hair? And why do your clothes look so funny? Are you an outlander? Wow, how rude! I'm gonna push you in this water. You know, I also danced when I was younger. I also used to pop and lock, but now my hips are locked in place. I can no longer move. Okay, in theory, one of Dunyazad here is the goddess of flowers, and she doesn't know it. Or, that's probably wrong, but you know. I've noticed that you can't keep your eyes off that crown over there. Would you like to try it on? <laughs> May I? You look absolutely stunning with it on. It's like I'm looking at the goddess of flowers herself. Ooh, now, what was I just saying? Um. Hey! Is that who Paimon thinks it is? Catherine! What the f is Catherine doing walking around? She's not behind her post. <laughs> Why is she humming? What the f is wrong with her? This is the first time we've ever seen her taking a break! Hey, Catherine! Oh, hey! It's the traveler and Paimon! What's shaking? You're not Catherine, who are you? <laughs> Break time Catherine sure sounds a lot less formal than usual. Saying and doing the same old things over and over again can get pretty monotonous. I don't like this. I am freaked out. You travel across to Vat to enrich your lives and gain new experiences. But we're mainly looking for clues about his sister. The punctuation. Sometimes the answers we're looking for aren't necessarily at our intended destination. Someone say something pretty similar recently? Uh, anyways, what we? brings you out here, Catherine? They're also a fan of the Subzerus Festival? Not particularly. It looks like it's about time for me to be heading back now. Alright, we'll see you next time at the Adventures Guild! 
<laughs> See you around. Yeah. Bye, Catherine. There's something really different about Catherine today. Almost like it wasn't her. Hey, traveler. Paimon. Hey, day, day, uh... Oh, hey, Dia. Dia. <laughs> I've got something to tell you. I'll need to take you two somewhere and ask someone some questions. What about Dunya Zed? After I take my lady home, let's meet in front of the Citadel of Regzar. Okay. Wow, it's Seven's friend Douglas, here to join us. Go follow her at twitch.tv forward slash DouglasXO, or Berish. Yes, here we go, ready to do, do the thing. I'm killing these people for no reason. <laughs> no. I thought you were gonna fall. No, no, I'm more skilled than that. Sorry, I'm late. Anyway. You sure mm. sound a whole lot nicer than when we first met, Dia. You had such she, a I, she was doing her job, that. excuse you. No. <laughs> it's called being a professional. No, y'all are besties. <laughs> yeah, we're best friends. Her eye makeup is immaculate. <laughs> that is true. Yep, that's a blush if I've ever seen one. <laughs> listen, you two. No, you listen. <laughs> you know, someone pointed out she's not actually like a cat person. Her hair is just like that. Yeah. Coaching 2.0. Otherwise, she had two sets of ears, and that would be kind of disturbing. Oh, yeah, I didn't even notice that fact. <laughs> They're probably just like, we don't want to have to work the possible around that Let's ear. Cut the chit -chat yeah. And head into the Citadel. I would tie another ear. Oh, uh, ooh, mm, no, I don't want to think about that. <laughs> oh, it's me. I'm looking at the door. Inspecting the details, there's a star on it. Do you see the star? <laughs> ah, Dia, what are you doing here? Oh, we weren't too far well, off with the voice. <laughs> yeah, the he's old. Together. So, where's Ruksha? I thought I'd help these two out by asking about the theft. Anything you can tell him? The theft? When did that happen? Ruksha's gone over to the academia. The Grand Sage recently ordered some oh, nipple hat man bolstering its defenses. <laughs> Can't wait to see the nipple hat in person. Heard so much about it. <laughs> I, was, I was just pissed at him, so I had to say that I had to insult him somehow. Of course. Uh, I, I, it's probably some very cultural hat, and it's very offensive of me coming, calling it a nipple. But this is a slight against him personally. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, there's a theft going on. <laughs> Just recently, the Academia lost something, and there's a chance the item is connected with the Dendro Archon. This case might just somehow help you in meeting her. Let me fill you in. And the convoy was robbed on its way back. If you're interested, maybe you can head to Port Ormos and ask around yourselves. If you want my advice, try introducing yourselves as students of the Academia once you're there. Students of the Academia! Why should they pretend to be students in Port Ormos? Because we're going undercover to find the robbery package. <laughs> yeah. They know something we don't. <laughs> well, yeah. There's gotta be a reason why we should uh, pretend to be students. Yeah, to get respect. <laughs> yeah. Hey, if you two really do decide to visit Port Ormos, you'd best watch your backs. There are even some extremists who go around shouting slogans like Retake Sumeru for the Scarlet King. Where it is that more and more are joining their movement. Damn, the Scarlet King must be someone special. You bet they are. The Scarlet King's been dead for thousands of years. This thumb so looks weird. Spreading rumors <laughs> of his return. Yeah. Ridiculous. <laughs> And see what we can find next. Nope. Can I talk to you yet? Can I do my bounties? Yeah, no, I'm pretty sure you have to finish the entire story quest first. No. <laughs> well, I have a check. I love his bullet though. I respect that. Alright, we'll go to Porto Smosis Jones. Oh, there's another dancing lady here. Traditional spices of the highest quality. Made Say no more. Experience. <laughs> Believe me, I'm not making this up. Everyone's gossiping and doing business here. Wow. Yeah, it's a little shady place. Mm. Really, this place is busy. 
There's like three people here. It's not that busy at all. Four if you count the guy in the back. We know that whatever the academia lost is related to the gods. But other than that, we don't have much else to go on. Won't we look even more suspicious going around saying we're academia students and asking about the stolen item? Let's figure out what that out before doing anything well, else! Let's ask around and see what we come up with. Uh, how can I help you two? You know any robberies and stolen god goods? Do students from the academia ever come to Port Ormos? Literally standing of behind course. us. <laughs> Especially around this time of year. Students from Sumero City that are about to graduate often come to Port Ormos oh, to hell yeah. lose a little. It's that guy tickling. Break. There's a dude tickling no, something he's in the playing back. No, he's playing, I think he's playing like a tambourine. Oh. I see. <laughs> tickling? Oh, look at his finger movements. It looks like he's getting a little... Yeah, that's tapping. tapping. Those are students from the academia. They look disgusting. Those students seem to be discussing something. Let's see if we can listen in. They're discussing where to hide the stolen goods they stole. I've solved the case. I've tried asking around, but I haven't been able to learn anything useful. There's been a lot of fighting between the different Aramite factions in Port Ormos. If we choose to move on our own, then it would be wise to steer clear of them. What was that group called again? Ein something or other? Einstein. <laughs> They're called Ein El Achmar. They're usually pretty wary of outsiders, but not so with students of the academia. It's because the kind of goods that students are looking for aren't the kind of goods that Aramites are after. As long as they know you're a student, then deals can be made. Oh, um, so that's why we gotta pretend we're students. Mm-hmm. But we don't have the cool drip these students have. No, no one cares. <laughs> Who else could possibly be after that kind of shady knowledge? Me. Oh, I admit me. it's practically <laughs> worthless to anyone aside from us. Oh, Definitely not anybody sense. who's listening into our conversation no, right now. No, no. It all sounds pretty suspicious to Paimon. Is knowledge something people just buy and sell like that? Whatever was stolen Free. from the academia is related to the knowledge, sorry! What? So, <laughs> what's your plan? Jafar! Jafar! Didn't you hear what they just said? Buying information is going to cost us half a million mora! Have you lost your mind? It's worth the price! And then Zevon got lost looking for the Jafar Tavern. I don't uh, believe in you. I can do lower. It. Yeah. It is. Oh no. Oh, it's probably... Well, is it... I'm going the wrong way. I would tell you, but the stream is very pixelated, so I can't even see where you're going. Excellent. Oh, into the moist cavern. Uh... I found it! <laughs> this is the place we heard those students talking about. Let's find a seat somewhere and see if we can spot the group they mentioned. Oh, you've arrived. Please take a seat. Amen. So, they think that they can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the boss? Yeah. Huh. Once we reclaim the power of the Scarlet King, they'll be the first that the boss punishes. Yeah. With boss's fervent devotion, he'll be able to use this power to bring our god back this time. Huh. All these guys talk about is the Scarlet King. So they're probably the ones we're looking for. Greater Lord Ruka Devata. That traitor and her followers must not be spared. The day will come when the Scarlet King exacts vengeance on Sumeru, and all of them shall be punished. Why is Ether smiling during this conversation? <laughs> this is his resting face. Hey guys. Who are you? What do you want? I'm a student from the academia, can't you tell? A student? What's a student from Sumeru City doing in Port Ormos? Uh, doing business. Ah, well, if it's info you want, you've come to the right place. The question is, can you afford it? Hope they don't actually take it out of my... my money. No, they don't. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Here, this is the merchant's address. Whatever you're looking for, you'll find it there. Hmm? Well, what are you waiting for? I just got lost in your eyes. to know more because archaeology as you can see members of Ain al Ahmar are devout believers of the Scarlet King years ago the Scarlet King founded the great desert nation that was our homeland 
The Scarlet King was the rightful god of wisdom, but he was betrayed by a companion he trusted. She even stripped him of his title, God of Wisdom. I know this because I was there. I was alive 1,000 years ago. <laughs> so, you mean the traitor was... Greater Lord Ruka Devata, yes. That shameless wretch destroyed the Scarlet oh. King's civilization, and our ancestors were forced to flee to this land where we were made to suffer the tyranny of our enemies. He sounds a little bitter. She conspired with the Academia to cover up the truth of her actions and create the yeah, merciful uh -huh. and benevolent facade for which she is now known. Ugh, just thinking about it <laughs> sickens me. <sighs> yeah, I'd say as I'm using the but thing the that she made, the Bluetooth. Oh, no. <laughs> the Scarlet King isn't truly dead. The voice of the Oracle has been heard in the desert, prophesying his resurrection. The Oracle? Mark my words, our god shall return. And when that day comes, all followers of the traitor and all the desert dwellers who have forgotten their true god will suffer retribution together. Retribution? Uh, D-Luke, is that you? <laughs> Just slowly morphs into D-Luke. <laughs> the Scarlet King is returning? Oh, oh, tell me about the Oracle, I want to know. I think this conversation has reached its end. Well, fine. Not just yet. Oh. This man is a fraud. <laughs> Oh, oh, it's... Oh, I, uh, you again? Booga booga. <laughs> deranged academia lunatic. Excuse I'll show you deranged. <laughs> yes, it's me again. I already warned you that if you weren't willing to sit and discuss things with me, I'd take measures to make things uncomfortable for you. Slaughter some in broad daylight. I, Listen, I, I would let him do that, that to me. The address he gave you <laughs> is fake. Or at least you won't find a merchant waiting for you there. Once you show up, they keep up the act until they have hard evidence that you want to purchase said item. Then they use that to squeeze you for all the more of your work. Oh my god! Who could have guessed? Hey! Shut it all, Haytham! What are you playing at trying to ruin our business like this, hmm? He's just having fun. <laughs> yeah, we're just having a good time. Day. I wish oh, to discuss my terms with okay. your boss. It's so cute. It's like a little leaf. <laughs> ha! The boss made it perfectly clear that he won't negotiate with you. Why not? Yes, and in no uncertain terms. But that was then. It does not preclude him from changing his mind in the future. Lost. Lost in your eyes, homie. <laughs> I'm warning you. Don't push us, or this could get ugly. If you're suggesting that we escalate this from a verbal exchange to a physical one, I accept. After all, I'll pick your ass. Ass. if, on the other hand... We can't agree on any means of negotiation at all. I will jeopardize the Aramite's reputation, which I know you value above all else. Oh, blackmail, let's go. Also, I f your mom. Bad. What did you say? This guy is really out of his mind. Okay, then. If you really have a death wish, let's meet a week from today. The pier in front of the Pharos Lighthouse, four o'clock in the afternoon, sharp. They have a whole week to prepare, huh? To yeah. Back. First, you return the 500,000 more to them. Oh, you just stole their money! Let's beat him up! It didn't look like it, but that was him giving the money back. Please, I beg you, don't provoke them. We can't afford any trouble with this crowd. Oh, I was like, I'll punch you too. <laughs> Bartender. Uh, you might not be wrong about that. <laughs> uh, Mr. Iman. I, uh, well... Someone who chooses to do business with a group like that really can't afford to get so flustered the instant someone confronts them about it. <laughs> Consider the meal compensation for our silence. I'd say you're getting an excellent deal. Oh, did you see that? He not only got us our Mora back, but sent the Amorites running too! Amorites, Amorites! Amorites, you mean? Let's catch up with him and ask him questions! Gladly. <laughs> Where? <laughs> I was gonna say, people like compared him and Ito, and his arms are bigger than Ito's, which is very upsetting. Them, right? Oh no. <laughs> Ito got his noodle arm. Want? Oh no. My goal was to get to them, and you two gave me just the opportunity I needed. We're even. No, we're odd. <sighs> Alright. Goodbye. No, we want to talk to you and look into your eyes some more. No. You must know the real story about a... Ahem. Certain something, no? Who exactly are you two? And why are you inquiring about that? 
I'm a student from the academia. He's gonna be like, no, you're not. <laughs> a student. <laughs> right. Look, you should know that those thugs conducting business with you had nothing to do with your lie. Oh, we don't think it too about sword play. <laughs> sword play, <laughs> wink, wink. <laughs> we can help with that. A physical exchange, oh, yes, please. With our swords? He doesn't even have a vision. Forget it. Maybe not, but he can still use elemental energy. Yeah, I want to beat up some people too. <sighs> All right, I accept. Got a pen and paper? If you're searching for someone who sells that kind of merchandise, I'll give you one of their addresses, and you can try your luck. Does that mean you can tell us exactly what we're after? You were willing to part with 500,000 mora for something, and you didn't even know what it was? Yeah. Tell me what you know so far, so I don't waste time repeating information. It seems like some kind of knowledge. You know almost everything there is to know. But you're unable to compile this information because you've never seen the object before. This is what you've been looking for. This is a knowledge capsule. To put it simply, it's a vessel that can store a fixed quantity of canned it's knowledge. The canned knowledge. It's like a miniature Akasha. <laughs> <laughs> Let me crack open a can of knowledge. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's illegal in Sumeru to privately possess or trade them. That's why I have 30 under my coat. <laughs> you don't want to know where I'm keeping them. Which <laughs> gained from Ermansoul into the Akasha and are intended to be destroyed immediately after use. But despite strict regulations, some of these knowledge capsules will always escape destruction. I heard the Academia lost something recently! <laughs> huh. So that's your true objective. I want to learn more about it. With our current arrangement, I don't believe I can offer an answer. Perhaps we can negotiate further. Let's continue our conversation here. If you wish to learn more about the knowledge capsule that the Academia lost, then you must help me with something. Of course we have to help you, but what is it? I need you to find someone named Dory, a traveling merchant. Unlike the peddlers who hawk inferior knowledge capsules, she often has quality goods in stock. She's guarded against people from the academia because most of her wares don't comply with academia regulations. I think she blacklisted me. I met with her informant, but it soon became clear that they had no intention of letting me get any further. Become one of Dory's customers and earn her trust. This is my condition for further collaboration. And then we rob her blind, right? <laughs> Why do you want us to meet with her? Because I can't do it. <laughs> I just explained it to you. He blacklisted me. <laughs> you two are outlanders who haven't been here for long, so Dory should view you as safe clients. The true challenge begins after you meet her. She has a keen nose for Mora and a shrewd eye for wares, and she only likes customers who she deems to have good taste. I'll prepare some funds for you. Buy her highest quality wares and earn her approval. Oh, he's giving me money! We don't know how to tell which ones are good and which ones are bad. Uh, is that something we can learn quickly? Hmm, that's true. Have you two heard of Elemental Sight? I can use it. Oh? That's a surprise. I guess I'll have to hold you in higher regard. Anyway, that ability should resolve your issue. We've literally fought a god. I, I think you should hold us in higher regard. <laughs> Here are two knowledge capsules. Tell me, can you detect any difference in their quality? I love the way he says capsules. The capsules. <laughs> they look the same to Paimon. That's where you're dumb as The one on the left is glowing. How'd it go? Did you see anything? Left. They're what? both green! <laughs> ah, I can't tell which one's the brighter one! Rumor has it that higher quality knowledge capsules generally appear brighter when viewed through elemental sight. The more powerful the knowledge, the richer it is in dendro energy. Here's a sheet with the informant's location and contact password. And here is the mora for purchasing canned knowledge. Hmm. <laughs> canned knowledge. I know what. <laughs> I love it so much. Don't be cheap. You'll need to spend to catch Dory's eye. There have been Matra present in Port Ormos lately. Your efforts will be for naught if they catch you. Okay! They belong to the Academia's regulatory body. 
They also handle cases of illegal canned knowledge transactions. The Matra are razor sharp. You're in for nothing good if they lock their sights onto you. If you two want to back out, now's the time. I'm willing to take the risk. Okay, then we have a deal. Ooh, a code chart. Should I read that? Here. Yeah, you should. Oh, I'm not gonna remember any of this. <laughs> uh, it's okay, I failed like multiple times. Hello, what are you two looking to buy? Unripe horror fruits? Mm hmm <laughs> I'll have someone escort you. Ronak, these two want to buy unripe horror fruits. Show them to the warehouse. Got it. You too. Follow me. <laughs> it's like <laughs> shuffling on this uh, man. Up ahead. He leaked out his neck. <laughs> this is what the Dark Knight hero does during the day. <laughs> what? He's evolved in another quest. <laughs> Oh, He's involved in the uncompracticated carving. Since when is he in that? It's I, okay. I guess he's in the area, and it, I guess we're doing this now. One unappreciated carving event quest later. Okay, now I can probably talk to Mr. Man. Yeah, let's make a Before deal. I retrieve your products. I need to confirm a few things. I should have looked yeah, at I the need notes. To confirm a few things. <laughs> Yeah, I need to confirm uh, when you're lying. We may not have sufficient stock for you today. Earlier, many of I've our listened to this conversation like 700 months. times. Congratulations. <laughs> Thanks. Better that means they were bought. The oh, I see. I can't remember. Why don't I pick out some fruits that'll make you dizzy? Tinnitus, please. I'd love tinnitus. Would you like your horror fruits to be packaged in the Sumero City or Port Ormo style? Port Ormos. And we want the bundle. Wow, you two sure are generous customers. Everything has been confirmed. The story is waiting for you up at... Shoot, it's the Matra. Run! What? The Matra? Where? All havens that were dumped were if they catch us. We gotta get out of here. Okay, let's just stand here. We don't know this area, so let's follow that informant. Excuse me. I just go up the right way. I don't know the right way. Well, I would tell you, but I can't see. It's okay. And then you got to go back and then up. But... Oh, it's okay. I, I found a way. No, I didn't. Yes, I did. Okay, they'll never find me up here. You're too high up. I found his piss stain. He ran that way. Catch him. If you're hiding from the Rishkalan tiger, come this way! No! Here, over here. You can stop running now. But I like running. Are we definitely gonna be safe here? No, not at all. You're Dory? I'm unsure thought you'd look a whole lot scarier. What do you mean? She's terrifying. Hey, what are you trying to say, I think Princess she's Brain? It's your first time here, but don't worry. I'm you know, I just realized questions. all the child <laughs> characters wear hats. Except for Kusanali, I guess. Maybe the heads just look weird. They're like, we have to add a hat. <laughs> <laughs> they look abnormal. <laughs> anyway, can you show us your products? What kind of products do you seek, my dear customers? Take this one, for example. An analysis of the sociological ideology and dialectics of the Hillichurls for 350,000 mora. Or... About the architectural styles and construction methods of Tibet in the early Archon War period. Two million mora, and it's yours. Of course, you are free to pick whatever your hearts desire. I'm gonna use elemental sight and scan the products directly to my brain cells. <laughs> that looked horrifying. This is the grayscale <laughs> traveler. <laughs> I'll take this one. And this one. As well as this one. <laughs> ah, you've really got a good head on your shoulders and quite the eye for quality. Listen, I have a special offer for you two. If you spend just 100,000 more and more, you can pick any knowledge capsule of your choice up to a value of 1 million more. Hey, did you hear that? Spend another 100k and we get a capsule worth a whole million. Don't let it trick you into spending more! Aren't you even the least bit curious about how this whole canned knowledge thing works? We're talking instant knowledge here. Don't you want to try it yourself? No. -uh. You got a deal, Dory! We'd like to spend an extra 100,000 mora! No, I wanted to keep that! <laughs> Excellent! And then please, so 
collect from this fine collection of can knowledge over here. They're probably sh. Uh oh, Paimon has a bad feeling about this. Let's use Elemental Sight again to check these. Mm -hmm. Oh, they're all sh. Oh, so, they're all good. What did you see? Oh, they're all equally see be bright. So mm -hmm. they're all worth about the same amount. No. Well, anyway, the more has already been spent, so let's at least try to find something useful. Oh, how about this one? Sword Fighting Techniques 8. Let's go with this one. All right, very good. I'm expecting some new goods in the next couple days, so be sure to check back again soon. I feel as if Dory went smoothly enough. Let's head to Wakala Funduk and meet up with all of them. All right, I'm gonna head to bed, but you have fun with the rest of your endeavor. Thank you for joining me for that section. Yes. 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 I shall continue in the next episode. Bye.